Okay. So our Fibonacci numbers start with this formula. The, Fibonacci, the nth Fibonacci number is the one behind it plus the one two behind it. Okay. So our formula was twice the one behind it plus the one two behind it. Yeah. So the Fibonacci formula is similar and I start with one one. In our prior one we started with two two. Mm -hmm. We start with one one and then what's the next number? Two. two. Well, okay, why? Because, because one plus one is two. Okay, what's the next number? Three. How do you get that? Because one plus two is three. I'm adding the one behind it plus the one two behind it. What's the next number? Five. Two plus three. One behind it plus the one. And these get big fast, just like our other. These set. get big fast, yeah. Just like, in fact, our other one got big faster because we were actually multiplying by two. Yeah. Eight. And see, the the interesting thing about this is very similar type of formula. Yeah. Right. And um, in terms of this formula, but if I asked you to compute the hundredth Fibonacci number, you would have to compute everything up to it to do it with our with the one we were looking at before with one plus the square root of two to the n plus one minus the square root of two to the n. I could just go back over to Mathematica, plug in n equals one hundred, and boom, right? So I wonder if there's a similar formula here, and it turns out there is. Cool. So in this, for this one, if I let a equal 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, and b equal 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2, the nth Fibonacci number? You ready for this? Yeah. Fibonacci n equals 1 over the square root of 5 times a to the n minus b to the n. Whoa. If you can believe that. Actually, in order to make this right, i got to start with 0. And say the 0th Fibonacci number is 0. The first Fibonacci number is this number minus this number. Notice that the 1's will cancel. Yeah. I get a plus the square root of 5 minus the square root of, minus, minus the square root of 5 which is 2 times the square root of 5, divided by 2. So what's that? Square, square root of 5. Divided by the square root of 5 is? 1. 1. There hmm. we go. So here's a similar formula for, for the Fibonacci numbers. Now I can just tell you what's the hundredth one. You just put that into, say, Mathematica, mm -hmm. and boom, you're done. But the same thing applies here as we saw before. This number, 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2, is between 0 and minus 1. It means the powers of this slowly get very, very close to 0 as they get bigger. Yeah. That means powers of this divided by the square root of 5 mm -hmm. get very, very close to integers. Cool. Just like 1 plus the square root of 2 gets very, very close to integers. Yeah. So this number has a pair, has a friend. 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2's friend is 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Pretty neat, right? Yeah. yeah. Pretty neat. Okay. Good job, guys. There's that's there's some pretty interesting math going on here. And once again, I dropped the screen, the pen cap. So hold that for me. All right, guys. Good job this morning. Good job.